So welcome back, everybody. Uh, today is Tuesday, and uh, just before we get started, just give you guys a little quick heads up. I am be do I'm going to be doing phase three today, lesson one and two, which you know is the final courses of uh, Cyber Trade University. This is where we do a live trading with me. So if you have not registered, um, if you're a student, a gold, platinum student, make sure you talk to education advisor and make sure you get the log on instructions because that's where we're going to take everything we've learned in phase one and two and put it to the test, especially. And the most important thing, remember about that class, it's not about making money. It's about controlling losses. It's about you making mistakes and me telling you where you're right and wrong. Us just jumping in examples and seeing how you get out. So we get rid of those damn butterflies. Now, regarding about what's going on as of today and yesterday, uh, overall, uh, regarding about yesterday, uh, we had a couple of nice little movers uh, in the market. I, I do want to start off with the uh, with the Uber trade. Um, Uber actually was probably one of my best trades yesterday that I made most of my money and that was it. You know, after Uber was testing that $30 price range, I, I think I told you in the middle of the day, I says, guys, it's like, it, it was going to 30. I, I mean, you see it clear as day. There was a major, major resistance at 30 and the stock did exactly that. And, uh, you know, I just want to kind of like just address something pretty quickly. There is a 82,000 share sell. Look at right here. This is level three at its best. An 83,000 share seller at $30.50. What does that tell you? Okay. All right. Must explain why we hit major resistance levels um, here in the pre-market and we came back down. Follow the money, guys. You always follow the money. Now, regarding about uh, also had a nice, great move yesterday. Uh, PCG ran after dispute the uh, up, update on their file for their bankruptcy. And all of a sudden, the stock is starting to make a nice little pop again. You know, this stock has just been a fun stock for us to trade. And um, more, it, it's such a fun day trading stock. You know, if you watch any financial stations, it's one of the big things they're talking about. It's been, I'm putting it back on my watch list, PCG. But this stock has been a really, really fun stock for us to trade. Um, the big winner was this one. And this stock just literally just fell off my, uh, fell off, uh, hold on. M-I-R-N. Oh, I'm sorry. M-I-R-M. I spelt it wrong. This thing, I don't know where this came from. But this was a home run. But only if, the bad thing about it, it was pretty damn volatile. But check this one out, guys. 9.30 this morning goes from $11 up to $22. Where in the hell do you find stocks like this? You know where? Right where you're sitting and watching right here on the Cyber Group morning meeting uh, in the Cyber Group room. We, I mean, a lot of you guys make good money on it. And the only issue I had with it, I think I told you guys, be very, very careful. Don't trade too many shares of it um, because the stock was extremely volatile. It wasn't one of those stocks you could trade a lot of shares. But you know what? If you bought 100 shares and it moved a buck, forget about the 10 bucks, even a buck, okay, you still made your $100, you know, and would it cost you $1,200? So uh, fun little stock right there. Guys, you did, did great on that one. You know, it's pretty cool. I know some of you guys never seen it before because we've gotten a lot of new members for the first time. Now the stock gets halted. Another nice little stock that did good in the pre-market was this AXSM. By the way, these are all stocks that we traded yesterday and AMR. And was another one that was really good on the short. That stock went from 27 down to 22. And you can see it's testing the support levels right here at a major support level. Now, that's obviously what happened yesterday. That goes put on the archives. Now we're going to start trading a couple of good stocks this morning. Um, you know, I told you this yesterday. Mondays are really not the greatest days to trade. But unfortunately, Monday was actually a pretty good day. You know, listen, our list was pretty damn long yesterday. And uh, we definitely capitalized on a lot of them. All right, so let's talk about what's moving this morning. We got this SBGL trade found here in pre-market. Gapped up pretty nicely. Stock's been a great swing trade uh, since October. It's four dollars. The stock's already at nine twenty, breaking higher highs. Decent spread. Got some good volume. Fifteen thousand share buyers out there. Twelve thousand share buyers. Stock's got some really good iceberg orders out there. Probably not going to be the most volatile stock, but because it's going to take a lot of shares to move it from what I could see so far, but it looks like it's going to be a fun one. ACHV is another one I found in pre-market that's moving. Uh, this thing was just one roller coaster. It just went up and came right back down. Let me change the chart, um, time frame on this thing. There we go. All right. So we, we had a stock that went from 830, went from a buck up to buck 60, straight back down. 
Uh, everyone did really, really well on this trade for some of you in free market. But once again, you can't go broke taking profit. You should have saw that coming when you see you had a, uh, when you broke a lower low when it, when it didn't want to go past a buck 65. So then when it came right back down a buck 50, went back to buck 60, you could see it. And obviously everyone should have saw the big orders out there. IMGN, another one, blast from the past. This thing's been doing pretty good this morning also. Gapped up uh, pretty good in pre-markets, holding pretty strong right here. 20,000 shares. Look at that, over 900,000 shares already traded in pre-market. Hey, how about the P-Tai? What do you think about P-Tai, right? P-Tai, what happened to P-Tai, right? Listen, eventually someone's going to get a hold in the bag, all right? Not looking too good now. You know what? We had a fun stock watching go from a dollar to five dollars, and wait what happened where right now. We're right back almost to the low of the days. So, you know what? Can't go broke taking profits. And you know what? Great swing, little swing trade, short term swing trade. But we chased this thing going all the way up. Look where you end up today. It's going to be another fun one to day trade this one. Once again, short squeeze. How do I know that? Just seeing the trading pattern and 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 the uh, of it, is it a guarantee? No, but when you hear long enough, you do this long enough. You see, you know when they're coming, and you know when they're gonna when eventually they're gonna pop, and when they're gonna tank. JBL, another decent stock, up seven percent, eighty-two thousand shares. Only thing I like about it, there's not a lot of orders out there. Uh, two more we got. I got the I found this UBGL, also that's moving, gapping up. Oh, I, I said that one already. That was the first one. Go twice. XUL. That was the other one right there. Is that the one I got? No, that's not the one. That was the wrong one. Uh, I think that's it. I think I got them all. I think I got them all. These old penny stock. This stock, I, I saw this stock earlier, the TGT. This is a buyout. You know, so that, obviously that party's over. That's why it's up so much. Uh, 20 million shares already traded. And uh, is it this one or is it? Eh, not at that one. Oh, the PCG, there it is. That's the, you can see it trade 800,000 shares. Uh, PTI, look at that, trade 6. Look at that, 7 million shares stock already traded. All right. Uh, that's right, uh, Ken, we can't go broke taking profits, you know, and that's, uh, and hopefully everybody learned that lesson on PTI. Listen, the big thing about this is that when you're in class today, you know, the, for the students, remember, if you're not a student, if you're just a member of the room, you can't have access to it. If you want to know more about it, talk to the education advisor. Uh, but just giving you a recap, you know, for some of you people that are going to get there. When we get into class, remember, these are things that we look for. We're looking for, listen, we all know what happens in a shake, right? We, we saw what happened, you know, yesterday when the stock got halted and we made a killing on the MIRM. I mean, people, you know, it's so funny. You, you got to ask yourself a, a question, right? And I know we have a lot of listeners right now that are on Facebook. We're broadcasting on Facebook Live, Twitter Live, YouTube Live. And we also have members here. A ask yourself a question. When was the last time, the very last time you were ever in a stock, okay, that went from $10 to $22 in... I don't know, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, okay? And I can almost guarantee you 99% of you are going to say, you're going to have to stop and really think really hard and probably would say never. Well, you know what? I think everybody here in the chat room could agree. We do it probably two, three times a week, two, three times a week, okay? So you want, and don't worry about it. You miss one, there'll be another one tomorrow. There'll be maybe another one today, maybe two. OK, but remember, at the end of the day, you're here to make money. And that's what we're going to learn in class. All right, guys. All right, everyone. Listen, good luck today. Happy trading. I want to get ready for my room. I'm going to open up the classroom. Remember, everyone, if you're a student, we go into a different room. It's not this room. We go into the, in the classroom uh, webinar room and I'll meet you all in there. Once again, all the other instructors are here. If you're not, we're still gonna, I'm still going to be chatting in this one. If I see something good in a trading room, I'll go out there and happily share it in the cyber group room. But uh, we're pretty much going to be trading the same thing anyway. All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, we'll start commentating in the cyber group room in the next 15 minutes. Good luck, everyone.